Hello guys, what is up? It's Hannah here, and this is going to be a video on 40 different headers that you can use for your bullet journaling, just drawing in general, and just making your notes look pretty. So this first one is just a generic header, but then you put highlighter on the edges, and I actually use this one a lot for my notes, but yeah. So this next one is, it's in a header with uppercase with highlighter or some kind of color, and then in smaller letters, you'd like make it connect sort of together. For this next one, you can use tape for more accuracy, but basically it's a header inside of another header, but the second header on the outside is covered up so you can't see the whole thing with the other header inside of it. Next, I am making a cursive header with highlighter on it and then I'm going to add a black sort of shadow to it. Next I'm doing a generic header, just a cursive calligraphy header in black. And then I'm continuing with a same kind of header, just a bit thicker in, in calligraphy, but this time I'm adding a blue back slash or just like any color to it. This next one is just a generic calligraphy one, but in a color or highlighter. Then I'm doing a calligraphy with a pen, but instead I'm going to like outline on the down strokes instead of coloring them in. So it kind of gives this cool effect. Then just calligraphy with a pen, then uppercase with a pen, and on this one, I did a bigger H and an R to give it more effect. Then this next one has very long like lines going up or down. And then this one is more compressed. You can do like try to stretch out the letters more. Just ideas. Then on this next one, they're like little bubble letters hanging. And on this one, I actually ended up making a typo here. I put an R where there should have been a D. Excuse my mistake, please. But other than that, kind of looks cool. So for these next ones, I'm going to be getting into like banners and stuff. But this is a generic banner. You make the box to upside down triangles. Either way that you want to the banner to go and then you place the ribbons coming out. And this one you can do the same one upside down, which I will be doing right now. And then I also did one going sideways. And then this next one is actually a double banner. You could also put a subtitle or a header on one of them, just connecting the two. And then I just thought this one looked cool, but it's kind of harder to make. This one is a curved banner, and then I kind of messed up the ends of the ribbon, but it's just a style, I guess. So then I also went into other box ideas that you can like box your headers with. So the first, uh, the first one's just a basic box. The second one is like a box with another drop shadow behind it, which kind of looks cool, gives it some effect. 
Then this third one is just two boxes. And this fourth one is like a box with lines through it for the second one. And then this last one is just two boxes inside of each other. And I kind of think that a lot of these boxes look cool. And in your notes will make things pop or just kind of like key terms. So I'm just filling them in with header. These next ones you could use in your notes. So this one just has a basic bar underneath it. This next one is a header inside of these lines. You can also add color to these. Then I tried this triangle, like a tab, so almost. And then just basic header with like dots like coming out at you. And then I also did one that header and you're just kind of circled in dots. Then I also tried this one where you put like tape on both sides of the header. And it kind of looks like, gives it a like kind of popping effect, like it's almost tape there. And I tried the same popping effect, but with a pin for this next one. Kind of give it some effect. So for this next one, I'm creating a calligraphy with a highlighter and then I'm adding this outline in a black pen. So next, I'm doing basic generic block letters. So this next one is the same as the last one. I'm just going to make a drop shadow on one of them. By adding the shadow, it just gives the letters a bit more detail and makes them pop out a bit more. And I'm just doing that with the brush pen. I felt it was just easy to use. So this next one is going to be a highlighter. You're going to make capital letters. And I'm doing the same thing twice again, but on one of them, you're going to like create just kind of like an outline around each of the letters versus just a drop shadow. This is more of a block, just like colored in block letters. So for this next one, I'm again writing out in with my highlighter in capital block letters but for this one I'm going to be kind of outlining the shape of the letter but slightly lower than the actual letter is so it kind of creates this almost like 2d 3d effect kind of gives a bit of a pop and you could obviously do this higher or lower to the other side I just chose to do this one a bit lower to the left so next, I am going to be drawing out circles for each letter as a header. This one I don't use as much, and you can use other shapes as well, but I just decided to try it out. And this next one is basically the same thing. I just colored in every other circle, just trying out something, color them all in, use different colors, whatever you choose. And for this last one, I will be creating this kind of party banner, just a string of little flags where you write your header on, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more.